As a 21st century director of the Boys and Girls Club of Martin County's Indian Town Branch, it is my honor to introduce our Youth of the Year, Nareda Campos. Within the five months that I have known Nareda, she has proven to be a great leader and mentor to the members in our club. Through my time with Nareda at the club, I had witnessed her become more confident, assertive, and her self-esteem has increased. Nareda is outstanding in all respect. She is dependable, responsible, honest, and courteous. She is an integral part of the Indian Town community. Nareda is learning to grow from challenges that are presented to her. Her sense of responsibility, citizenship, and caring about others demonstrates the integrity of this young individual. Again, I introduce Nareda Campos. At a young age, I was diagnosed with ADHD. Every day has been a constant struggle for me. I started to feel depressed and I tried talking to my family about how I was feeling, but no one seemed to care. The only adults who would take their time to listen to my problems would be the Indian Town Boys and Girls Club staff. My life has not been easy to this point. My father is an alcoholic and was abusive. Physically and emotionally, he would abuse me and my family. He would tell me on numerous occasions that I was worthless, useless, and that I was bound to be a failure. Hearing my father say those things to me, I started to believe that I was worthless, useless, and that I was bound to be a failure. If things cannot get any worse, my house is currently in foreclosure. This is one of the most devastating news that my family has ever received. Seeing my mom cry herself to sleep at night crushes my heart, especially since there is nothing that I can do about it. Along with depression, I began to have suicidal thoughts. Since the Boys and Girls Club was closed during the summer, I had no one to talk to. I kept my feelings to myself until I couldn't take it no more. I had to go to a mental facility due to my suicidal thoughts. In there, I was not treated like a normal person. They had taken away my writing and drawing utensils, which allowed me to express my thoughts and feelings. I felt every thought was a battle and every breath was a war. Weeks later, I was free. Words cannot express how grateful I am to the Indian Town Boys and Girls Club. I was upset that it was not open for the summer, but the first day it reopened, I went straight there, and I was happily greeted by the staff member, and it felt amazing to be back. Now I can express myself without being judged. The club has boosted my self-esteem. I can now have a conversation with somebody and look them in the eyes instead of looking down when conversating with them. The staff at the Boys and Girls Club make me feel appreciated that I, I am somebody. They make sure that I'm getting good grades and that my family has enough food and make sure that my mind is in a positive place. I have a sense of belonging when I enter the doors of the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club is my escape from reality. I would not change anything in the world. Thank you, Boys and Girls Club, for always having your doors open.